catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of September 21st. In September 1995, San Antonio was reeling over news that the Base Realignment and Closure Commission decided to shutter Kelly Air Force Base. That eliminated more than 12,000 good jobs that were the bedrock of the city's skilled middle-class workers. 20 years later, that former base is known as Port San Antonio, where now more than 80 firms employ more than 12,000 people in aerospace, defense, manufacturing, and logistics. The average wage for an aerospace worker in San Antonio is $79,000 a year, according to the San Antonio Economic Development Foundation. During his State of the Port 2015 address, President and CEO Roland Maurer promised to add another 5,000 jobs by 2020, increasing the port's regional economic impact beyond today's $4.4 billion. Over the past century, this has been a platform where innovation, hard work, and persistence have given birth to industries that have grown here. The state of the cloud and getting the federal government to move on to the cloud was the topic of a special field briefing of the Congressional Subcommittee on Information Technology held at the University of Texas at San Antonio. The subcommittee is chaired by Congressman William Hurd, who represents Texas' 23rd Congressional District that reaches from San Antonio to El Paso. The testimony came from Rackspace, Amazon, the Department of Homeland Security, VMware, and UTSA. We chose to hold this briefing here in San Antonio because the city is on the cutting edge of cloud computing and technology innovation as a whole. There is an incredible amount of forward thinking taking place here. On Friday, September 25th, we'll webcast for the fifth year the Congress on Children presented by Voices for Children of San Antonio. The keynote speaker this year will talk about the effects nurturing environments have on human well-being. It's free for you to watch live or later thanks to underwriting from Methodist Healthcare Ministries. Seclovia is returning on September 27th, and the YMCA in the city of San Antonio will close the streets to traffic, allowing an expected 50,000 to 65,000 people to play in the streets for more than three miles of Broadway, from Lions Field to Alamo Plaza. And this time, there's an app for that. With just a click or a swipe, you can get the map, a schedule, notifications, or take a safety pledge and maybe win a bike helmet. Go to nowcastsa.com where you can replay the video on the state of the cloud, learn about the state of Port San Antonio, find out about the Seclovia app, watch the webcast of the Congress on Children. Thanks for watching The Edge.